So hello again, here's another video with coding stuff for board games. And uh, we have a few videos go before we can do the really fun stuff. Uh, right now we're learning more about the basic stuff in JavaScript and, and coding uh, in Google Apps uh, and Google Spreadsheets. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at something called arrays. In When programming, uh, you have variables. This is a variable called result, and we store some value here. Arrays are variables where you have multiple values uh, stored one after another. And I'm gonna uh, create a new function here just to show you what this could look, look like. Function uh, array test parentheses and these well, curly brackets. And I'm gonna um, create a variable here and say let's my array equal and then i'm use using square brackets this is the way to to denote arrays and i can now um, add a number of the oh, a series of values here say three two five and nine and now this this uh, variable has a number of different values and i can let's just take test here return my my array and see what happens when I call this from the uh, the spreadsheet what was the name array test so equals array test and now returns four distinct values uh, the values I had here and this is useful for a bunch of different things uh, and learning how to use arrays uh, will save you a lot of time and help you to use programming in an efficient way. And one important uh, thing to know about arrays is uh, how to add new values to arrays. So I'm going to say here my array dot push and then parenthesis. Uh, and now I'm going to push a new value into the last uh, place of the array. And I'm kind of going to add 42 because that's a nice number save so when creating the array i have four values i push another value to the end of the list and if we see here now it's already updated 42 is added to the list um, and you can also pick out uh, special values of the array so my let's actually do this logger dot log my array and then i'm going to pick value zero in arrays uh, in javascript and most programming languages not all of them but most of them uh, the first value has number zero and this is value zero uh, number zero number one number two and number three so i'm now going to print to the log when running this uh, function uh, the zeroth val zero value of uh, this array that is the first value so i run uh, array test function run and you will see three is returned three dot zero this dot zero indicates that it's uh, treated as a number not a text uh, text value with with a string three but the, the number three in it and i can change this to uh, number three which is the fourth value should be nine here and it uh, says that it's nine so this is working fine okay so uh, to use this uh, what well, uh, one way of using this um, well let's, let's actually stop here and in the next video we're going to look at uh, rolling a number of die and storing them in an array uh, we'll see you in the next video bye